Hi, this is Kerry, the Tantric Vegan. So, I hear in spiritual circles the lamest argument ever for eating meat. And I just wanted to share basically why I think it's so lame. That is... Plants are conscious too. Plants have feelings. And yeah. So what I'm saying is, yeah, plants are conscious. Everything that is manifest in our physical world is conscious. It comes from the same source. It comes from consciousness itself. Uh, but that doesn't make it the same. So, if you had a child that you were going to take out for the day, and you had a choice to spend the day at an abattoir, a slaughterhouse, or picking an apples in an apple tree, what would you choose? If you took a child to a slaughterhouse and a child saw these animals having their throat slit and screaming in pain and writhing around and bleeding out on the floor or hanging upside down by their leg, that child is going to be traumatized. But you take that child to an orchard and it's going to very happily pick apples and bite into them, you know, it, it's not the same, it's not the same thing, um, one is, the vibration is very low, it's a vibration of pain and suffering and ego, an ego that humans think we are so superior that we have the right to to kill a being because we want to eat it and um, whereas you think about the apple tree you know the the fruit the apple is giving the apple tree is giving us that apple the fruit is made to look colorful and alluring it's a gift we don't kill the tree when we pluck that apple off we're doing the tree a favor because we're spreading its seeds around that's what the tree wants the tree is giving us that fruit and it's succulent and sweet and beautiful to eat. And when we eat it, we feel clean. <laughs> you know, there's nothing nice, nicer than biting into a lovely, crisp and juicy apple fresh off a tree. You know, it's just full of life-giving enzymes and carbohydrates and wonderful things. So at some point, okay, we can use the argument that it's, you know, plants are conscious too, but it comes down to what vibration do you want to put in your body? Do you want to put in the vibration of death and suffering and pain? Or do you want to put in a higher vibration? And people, people know that eating meat is harmful to our bodies as well. We have to think about what what is healthful. Um, we know that meat is full of cholesterol that clogs our arteries. So do we want to have that kind of quality of life where we're suffering with heart disease and, and going in the wrong direction regarding our heart, like going downhill or our health, going downhill regarding our health, or if we eat a clean vegan diet, we're going to be healing ourselves. We're heading in the right direction. It, it's a choice there. We, we need to decide that. It's not about one being conscious and one not. You know, it's like me coming around to your house and, you know, and killing your dog and going, oh, wow, you know, it's, it's, got the same consciousness as a carrot 
it, it hasn't. <laughs> you know, when you bite into a carrot, it's, it doesn't scream in pain and bleed and, you know, it's not the same. It doesn't have a nervous system. It doesn't have a brain. It's not going to suffer like a, a, an animal would. You know, and people might say, oh, but it's natural for us to eat meat, we carnivorous. And really, we're not. And I heard a, a simple argument that really makes sense to me. And, you know, all I'm giving you here is the facts. Um, think of, of them, if you, if you have a cat in the room and you put a little baby rabbit in there, a little bunny rabbit, and you put an apple, what's the cat going to do? If it's hungry, it's going to kill and eat the bunny rabbit and probably play with the apple. Now, if you have a little toddler in a cot and you put a bunny rabbit and an apple in there, what's going to happen? <laughs> the toddler's going to eat the apple and probably cuddle the bunny rabbit, you know, and, and um, play with it. We are not naturally carnivorous. We don't look at a rabbit and think, oh, I'd love to take a bite out of that. I mean, it's not the same thing once it's been marinated in, veg in vegetables and plants, you know, spices and herbs and skinned and cooked. And, you know, you, you try catching a rabbit with your bare hands and see how you get along with that. We're not naturally carnivorous. Um, you know, we've learned to make weapons a cat isn't born with a bow and arrow they're born with claws and fangs and they can chase down a rabbit and kill it like good luck to you trying to catch a rabbit like running through a field you know <laughs> it's just not gonna happen i mean it could happen but you still wouldn't want to just pick the rabbit up and take a bite out of it and like eat its skin and you know bite into its head and suck its brains out i mean just not going to do that but if you saw a fruit tree with beautiful colored fruit on it you think oh god i bet that's sweet and delicious I, i'm going to go and pick one of those you know like a nice juicy mango or something it, it, the, it's just so obvious and then we have to think about the vibration and what we're doing to the planet you know and meat eaters go like they justified oh well it's a choice you know and i used to be the kind of vegan that didn't used to speak up and then I thought, no, hang on, the planet I live on is being destroyed. It's being destroyed by those people's choice. I have a right to speak out about that. I live here too. And if we carry on going the way we're going, and animal agriculture is the biggest cause of destruction on the planet, you only have to research that to know it's the truth. You know, um, there's a choice there as well. You know, we have a responsibility. We are killing our planet. And this needs to stop because it's not necessarily. We can live very healthful lives on a, on a plant-based diet. You know, this is just a load of excuses meat eaters give because they just want to eat meat because they like the taste. That's really all it boils down to. You know, they want to put chicken on their sandwich or whatever, you know. And there's no thought of the consequences of that action in their own body, in the health of their body, in the health of the environment. And the health of the vibration of the planet in general, you know, it's just not, it's not the same thing. So, yeah, things might all be conscious, but that doesn't mean they're the same. I'm not saying one is superior to the other and one is inferior. They're just different. They're not the same. A carrot does not have the same consciousness or experience as, as your pet cat. You know, you love dearly because you know its personality. And, um, you know, if you squeeze it, it's going to feel pain and you're gonna, it's going to hurt. You know, you can squeeze a carrot, 
I'll squeeze a carrot quite happily and not feel any guilt, you know. My conscience isn't going to plague me that night. I'm not going to lie in bed and think, oh God, I squeezed that carrot. I feel so bad. But if I slit a cat's throat, I'm going to feel terrible. I wouldn't be able to live with myself, you know. And just because someone else is doing the killing and you don't see it happening, doesn't make it okay. You are still contributing to that. You are still contributing to that vibration on this planet and no wonder the planet's such a mess so you know i'm just not going to keep quiet about this anymore <laughs> i'm not going to be one of those wimpy vegans who just goes oh it's okay it's your choice because your choice is affecting everything it's not okay and i'm going to say that um I mean, ultimately, I can't do anything about your choice, you know. I accept that everything is the way it is. But I'm not going to listen to that nonsense of plants feel pain too and just not say anything about that kind of lame <laughs> BS, you know. So, there it is. It is all down to choice. But at the end of the day, what are you going to choose to do? What are you going to choose to put in your body? You know, this, this temple where your consciousness is residing. Where are you going to make your choice there? On what side are you going to go? <laughs> you know, environmental destruction. The destruction of the planet we live on. I mean, where the extinction of our species species because we're heading that way and we're taking a lot of species with us someone mentioned the other day they saw the last three white northern rhinos on the planet you know and that horrified me there's three left you know people are killing those for some horn that they stick in you know medicine if they ate less meat they probably would have more testosterone they wouldn't need to be doing stuff like that you know, it just comes down to a choice. So are you going to make healthy? It's not even a moral choice, you know, about what's right or wrong or who's better than another. It's just what is healthful. What is healthful for us? What is healthful for the planet? As simple as that. You make that choice. And yeah, I've made my choices. And I'm very pleased to have made the choice to become vegan. Not because it makes me feel better than anyone else, because I don't believe I am. I don't believe I'm even, you know, I'm better than anything else. We all, on, on some level, we are all created equal. Everything is relevant. Everything has great importance in the big scheme of things because it's part of it all. But just because I want quality of life, I want to feel like I'm making the best decision about the way I live and the impact I have on what's around me, then I can. And uh, yeah, be peace. It's hard to be peace when you're causing pain and suffering just because you want to eat a steak or whatever. Really, it is. So think about how much you want to be peace, you know, whether you want to be taking on that vibration or whether you want to be raising your vibration. Again, it's all a choice. And you make that choice. I can't make that choice for anyone. I know what I'd like people's choice to be, but, you know, I only have the ability to choose the things in my life that I want to do but I have the choice also to put information out there and to perhaps make people think a little bit about the choices they're making so on that note be peace <laughs>